he's checking out. No, he's checking out Stroms' butt. Oh my god. I, I, the eyes, the eye lines don't lie. Are you about to show us your forensic talents in action as you promised? Or are you just going to point at something and make baseless accusations? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Who said that? <laughs> who said that? I said that, actually. <laughs> Gregson would say that. <laughs> I'm just imagining Naruhodo has like a big smile on his face. Like, wow, this is what it's like to shoot a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, after being accused about of it so many times. Welcome back, everybody, to the second case of the second greatest returning game. We found something under the floorboard, and we're continuing to talk to Gregson about it. Now we just got to talk about a tin box. Now this tin box would be interesting, doesn't it? Might I suggest, Inspector, that you open it? If you were to find something inside that reveals the truth behind this case, I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised. Yeah, funnily enough, I already had a look. It's completely empty. Huh? I swear to God, I thought he was going to say it had sewing supplies in there. <laughs> what? Shamspear, give us a clue, man! <laughs> You didn't even have a chance to utter a word, Mr. Naruhodo. But anyway, at least we found out what's inside the box. Yes, thin air. It's empty. Rather like how I feel inside. Dang, that's deep. <laughs> Is there nothing more in this box, then? I wonder. We examined the box? We haven't been given it yet. <gasps> Cat! We have an entire animation of this cat just leisurely walking in. My god, it's the lord of the castle! <laughs> oh look, is that lovely the kitty cat? What was its name? It's Mr. Natsumi's, isn't it? I don't think we ever asked him, actually. Uh, why don't we call it, uh, Wagahai? You know, like Mr. Natsumi refers to himself in Japanese. I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. Clever girl. Except I think this what? cat's a boy. I don't even know. Well, it could be whatever it wants. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome. Look at hey. Here's the delicious I bought for you from the cat's eat meat menu. You know, like, like, this adds absolute... The... What? Sorry. I have no idea what she said. That looks like a brain. Cat's meat man? From the cat's meat man? What? What's the cat? Look, whatever. A guy who prepares meat for cats, I guess? And I... why do you have that on hand? <laughs> that too! Oh, just... Julie, Lewis, I have everything on hand. There's even a chainsaw also, in my can seats. We, can we talk about how, like, Magahai has no relevance to the case and they just made all that animation in this just because <laughs> they could? Maybe he does have relevance. We don't know. Oh, cute! Just drowning us in Oh, it's sleeping now! Just drowning us in cute! G Gregson's still on the floor for some reason? <laughs> Gregson's over there like, oh my god, that kitten is so cute. <laughs> Actually, now I'm, I'm looking now for more loose for lowboards. How the hell did that cat get in here? <laughs> he couldn't be happier now. Look! I just hope we can bring some happiness to his owner, too. There we go, there's the relevance. <gasps> oh, look at the cat! Look at- <gasps> Aww. Oh my god! <laughs> they just add these animations, but they don't have to! <laughs> Hi! I'm gonna go- I'm gonna- oh, can I pet the cat? I want pet cat. Oh! Un this is so unnecessary! <laughs> that was a cheeky little meow, Wagahai. Oh, but he's so adorable. I could sit and watch him forever. That guy could kill someone in this room and no one would convict him. <laughs> You're true. 
I think. And I was like, oh god, he killed Gregson, but he's so adorable. Look at Wait, him. Why have other one died? <laughs> Should they go for Shums first? No, I'm afraid not even death wants me. <laughs> That's I... deep. <laughs> I think No, I mean Death literally returned me to the doorstep of Iris and just said like nope you, you take him. I'm not doing this shit anymore. I think he may not appreciate that after a while. And we may have an investigation to get back to. The sun never shines in this room, thanks to that depressing bricked up window. Oh my god, I forgot to present my badge to Gregson. Wait, I don't think I was able to. I think it just jumped right into the conversation, didn't it? Yeah, because you never officially talked to him. It was just about whatever he found. Darn, I need to share my armband to him, though. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, with enough determination, you can always remove the bricks to set some soap outside, can't you? Sounds like a very wise life lesson, Mrs. Sato. Only if you plan to follow a life of crime, Mr. Narohodo. Uh, no thanks. Are you sure about that? You were almost convicted. That was unintentional! <laughs> if you ran out of change, you wouldn't even have any light, let alone heat. For the needy, London's winters can be very harsh. That's true, but if you think about it... Even the worthy would find themselves freezing if they ran on a small change. London's winters can be very harsh for the forgetful too, then. <laughs> Frankly, I'm starting to wonder if Susato-san and I are going to make it to spring. That's true. We don't even have a meter at Baker Street, let alone a gas stove. You have a fireplace! Wait, wasn't there a stove in the attic? Hold on, what? We gotta go back to the check right now. <laughs> Look how dark the stain on the floor is underneath the meter there. Yes, from all the water dripping out after the ice coins melted as you established in court this morning. It's a very large and obvious stain, isn't it? Mrs. Shams, we must have used an awful lot of ice coins, I suppose. Are we gonna just not talk about the boarded up hole right there? Uh, if it lets me check, I don't know. Okay. It was an ingenious idea. I'll give him that. Uh, not examinable. Okay, well, that's just gonna bother me forever. Oh, we can't examine the lamp, though! Oh, it's a- I knew oh, it! This is a gas wall light, isn't it? Oh! It must be connected to a gas pipe in the wall. Hold on. Wait, was he drinking from the lamp? Oh no. <laughs> Finals, right? I think Finals Theory might be coming to fruition. This is bad. <laughs> I don't even know what his theory was. Huffing up Man, gas. it's just high. High as a oh, kite. Okay. <laughs> All it. Gas rights? A gas stove? That really is a city of gas. Yeah, no wonder it stinks. Farts everywhere. <laughs> but now that I think about it, Mr. and Mrs. Garrett have had an open fire on the fir on the top floor, didn't they? Oh yes, you're right. I don't recall seeing a gas stove up there. Well, I must prefer a real fire anyway. It's so much cozier. All right, cool. We can't examine the picture. We uh, I'll examine that in a moment. <laughs> Wait, you can examine the shadow? I think it. I think it's. I think it's examining the stage to the left. So, it turns out Mr. Shamsbeer wasn't eating the soap at all. That's right. The mystery of why he had it on a plate while holding a fork in his hand is solved. Is it, though? <laughs> it is. The price is this ice coin out of its mold. Why did it look like it had a bite mark on it, though? I know. <laughs> and in the process, he accidentally broke the bar's soap in two. With a perfect bike mat shape somehow. <laughs> it certainly was hard to imagine, let alone deduce. Uh uh okay, Gregson, I guess you're just gonna keep doing that. It's very important I keep looking at this floorboard. This is 
some sort of makeshift stage, I think, isn't it? Where does the audience sit, though? For the nightly Shakespeare performances. Actors aspiring to the great stage must practice their art, Mr. Arahodo, with or without an audience. I was gonna say, what audience? <laughs> in fact, on a related note, perhaps you should set up a mock bench for the def defense in your office. <laughs> what? This is you just know, practice. This is just Susato saying, get good, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> yes. As, as the mysterious voice said, get good, Mr. Narahodo. Uh... You can practice your art every single day and get good, as the future kids say. I'll think about it. If you promise to don a beer and play the role of the judge. <laughs> well, if, if that would help you achieve your goal... <laughs> This I have to see. He's giving you a real suggestion and you're over here turning it into a joke. You know what, Naruhodo? <laughs> <laughs> Oda! Oda! Ah, the ill-fated teacups from which the two men drank on the ill-fated night. During the hit of the debate, yes. Who's stronger? Romeo or Juliet? <laughs> Sounds like it was when... quite a discussion. When is Death Battle gonna get to this? <laughs> now I that mean, I think of it. Oh, I mean, yes. te technically, Juliet is stronger because, as we've learned from this case, Romeo almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo did die. No, I mean, here, in this, in their mock Romeo. debate. We're talking about Shakespeare Romeo. He, he, he almost oh. died. <laughs> See, when you said Shakespeare the first time, I still heard Shakespeare, and I was like, well, yeah, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> now I think of it, I'm sure that the two devils in the play ended their dice with poison. That's gonna come to haunt me in a few months, I think. That's fiction, Mr. Sato. Let's hope it stays that way. All right, Rinosuke, 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 hear me out, hear me out. Rinosuke, hear me out. Uh... Method acting. <laughs> That's Dak. Uh, can I not do anything else? Uh, I guess I can? Okay, uh, Gre Gregson's done. Hello? Stop opening the thing, please. Thank you. There has to be something we're missing. Maybe we... I feel like something needs to trigger and nothing is being triggered. Can we just go back to, like, talking to people? Did you check all the castle, or...? Nope. Can't, can't talk to anyone. I guess we need to do something else? Uh, question mark? Hold on. Maybe is there stuff on the left we haven't checked? The only thing on the left is really just the stage. I don't know, maybe this is... Okay. The candle the, by the stage? Check out that candle! Check out the spider right, 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 right. I glanced, I glanced over just to make sure that was... I, it looks like we did everything, so I guess we're just gonna move on. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know! Oh, we'll come back, I guess. <laughs> so sticky. Meanwhile, in the Blair Witch Project. That's <laughs> 22nd <laughs> February. Local prison, cell 9. That sure was nice of them to give him the same set again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Natsume is back. Quite literally. <laughs> so he is. Uh, Mr. Natsume, hello. I am a cat. Sorry? I don't know who Mr. Natsume is or Airlock Sholmes. I don't know what courts or trials or old baileys and I just smacked my microphone. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. I am a cat. That's what I am. Just a cat. Look oh God, he's disassociating. <laughs> he's disassociating before our very eyes. <laughs> Exactly, Mr. Narahodo, he's trying to escape from reality. <laughs> <laughs> trying to? He already has. Completely. So, um, what is your name then? <laughs> As yet, I have no name. Mr. Narahodo, he hasn't fully thought of his new identity yet. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late to bring him back to reality. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god. Do you think you could open your eyes for us, Mr. Natsume? 
No, he's a cat. Now he's a man. No, he's a fancy cat. He's an aristocrat. I am not a cat. Damn it. <laughs> it worked. He's back in the real world. What is going? What's going to become of me? No! Don't answer that! It's obvious! My accursed soul is never going to escape this accursed fate! This is Natsume! No! There's more facilities than could prove this! Help! Yes, yes! Look up to Mr. Narahodo Esquire was brilliant! But! But! The Reaper is omnipresent! In court! In my lodgings! Here! There! Everywhere! What's he looking straight at me for? Oh god, is he inside Ryonosuke too or what? <laughs> I think perhaps there are some things we should discuss? Oh, yes! Yes, we must! The very end of the game, it just turns out, uh, it's like, Van Zeeks, I finally have beaten you once and for all! And then Zeke's, Van Zeeks like, no. You've beaten yourself, and then you've learned that at uh, the entire time, Van Zeeks has just been a reflection of Naruhodo. <laughs> <laughs> Van Zeeks takes off his face, and it's just Naruhodo, but still wearing <laughs> Van. It's just, it's, but still wearing Van Zeeks's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Have I shown you this before, Mr. Natsume? Oh yes, the sweet sweet aroma of. Okay, he's read this already. <laughs> I'm not reading that again. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Alright, he's nothing new. I ain't gonna read that again, though, because that's just... Okay, Mr. Natsume. In my whole life, have I ever been so, so moved as I was today? No! Of course, if I cast my mind back, there were perhaps one or two other occasions that moved me more. But if I just blocked those out, then today, being in that courtroom was... was... It was the most moving experience of my life! Locum student, Mr. Narahono Esquire! You're too kind. Scarlet Yard found me winning tea, just as we deduced, and are analyzing it as we speak. There's nothing wrong with that tea! They won't find a drop of poison in it! It's a... Solemn sword, so seki certainty. Tell me, did you both drink the tea at the same time that night? Oh yes, most definitely. Remember, drink tea while it's hot. We both poured it down our throats like it was a hot bath for our bellies. And at the time, we were both completely fine. As shown by the fact that he and Mr. Shakespeare then engaged in the Romeo and Juliet match. I suppose oh, wait. That, what? Shakespeare said he drank it later. Yeah, but we've we've concluded that Shakespeare's full of shit. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the focus of tomorrow's proceedings will be how the poison was taken by the victim then. That rotten Shakespeare! What have I ever done to him? Uh, beat him in Romeo and Juliet, I guess. <laughs> My favorite fighting game. <laughs> you don't recall him taking issue with you over anything you've done recently? Ah, oh, read that in sentence wrong, but who cares? I've been holed up in my room, immersed in books. I don't recall anything, anything at all. Right. But what I don't understand is why he didn't let me know sooner. Let you know what, Mr. Natsume? About the soup, of course. What else? Oh, dear. Are you struggling with such a mega stipend? Of course I am. If I had money, I wouldn't have chosen to live in a cursed existence in such a cursed lodgings. Oh, yes, you said it was because the place is cursed that it's so cheap, didn't you? Exactly! Especially the room that I rent! The spirit of that capital offender who lived there still haunts the place, and it's trying to kill me! 
Capital Offender? Why not ask local student Mr. Narhodo Esquire that the next time you visit me, you bring scores of super soft soaps? <laughs> that That's not gonna work right now. So, uh, Criminal Offender, it wouldn't have to be this guy in the article we got recently, is it? You know? I don't know. Is it this guy? <laughs> What's this? It's a newspaper cutting that we found in Mr. Shamspear's room. Huh. So he knew, did he? Sorry? What about this man, Selden? A convicted killer! And the evil spirit behind the curse that's afflicts my lodgings! What? He's already taken one young man's life, and now he's trying to take the life of another! A miserable mustache, much maligned Japanese man! Mr. Natsumi, if you know something, please, you must tell us. Tell us everything you can about this evil spirit. Uh, before we do that, can I present the soap? Does he say anything? Because he just talked about soap, and I kind of want to know if he Here says you go, anything. here's the soap. Here's soap. Miss Natsume, what do you know about this? Ah! There it is! That leathery lowlife that took my neighbor's life and sent me sliding to the depths of despair! Huh? Oh, yeah. What? what? Slippery, sickly, psychotic saboteur! You've really gone off soap, haven't you? Absolutely! And I've made up my mind! The next time someone gives me soap as a present, it's... Friendship finished! Firmly forever! Wait, he's Maybe blaming the soap? this from when um, he thought Shamspear was dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's possible. Because we could talk to him before the first trial started, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that we can blame soap for everything that's happened, Miss Natsume. <laughs> Mixed messages well, here. <laughs> bring me soap! Here you go. No! Not that one! <laughs> the truth is, I didn't know the details myself until very recently. That Selden man was arrested about a year ago now. And at the time, he was hiding out in lodgings at Mr. Gerda's house. What, he lived? Where you do now? That's right, yes, exactly where I live now, in my very room. Dang, man. Oh, man. Your room was previously occupied by a criminal found guilty of a capital offense. We totally didn't know this already. <laughs> but before his sentence could be carried out, he died in prison. That was three months ago now. And that's when it started. The c c c c curse What really is this keep you this it's curse creep. you keep mentioning, Mr. Datsume? <laughs> this creep. <laughs> this, this keep you keep cursing, Mr. Natsume. <laughs> I've already caused one death. Oh, it's I. <laughs> yeah, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He admits it. <laughs> English is hard. It's already caused one death. A few months after the criminal passed away in prison. A man died in the room. The man who rented it after Selden, in fact. The poor lodger. He, he was found dead in mysterious circumstances. The room was locked from the inside. Locked from the inside? Is that like the case we're dealing with now? A locked room case, huh? So that's the convict's curse, is it? But to be fair, locked room mysteries are very popular, so... <laughs> yes, well, that was the start of it. Just the start okay. of it. Okay. Why? So... What... If you knew all of this, why did you take the room? Because the guy who was selling it didn't Jeez. mention it until, like, at the very last second. And he's okay. desperate. I mean, I know he's desperate, but just based on his character, I feel like he's not that desperate. <laughs> I don't think he, he got really these is. details until, like, quite at the last minute or he already, like, committed. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Do you have any idea how the larger before you passed away, Mr. Natsume? The official cause of death was asphyxia. When they discovered the body, the room was full of gas. 
gas. I only found that out after I signed the lease. Yep, that makes Okay, yeah. there we go. When Mr. Okay. Garrett came to tell me later, I could stop myself trembling. In fact, if I'd known beforehand, I'd probably have been too scared to take the room. Landlord's lease, luckily legal. Luckily? Luckily? <laughs> lucky for Mr. Garrett, maybe, but not so lucky for poor Mr. Natsume. And now you believe this curse is affecting you. It is! It is! At first, I just felt as though I was being watched. All the time. And then you talked about having nightmares, didn't you? <laughs> the dead are trying to take me with them. They come for me and try to su suffocate me. Just when I'm struggling to breathe, I wake up. And the room is as cold as ice! I... Why is your room so cold? London winters are too cold to bear without any heating on overnight. But for some reason, even though I light the stove before I climb into bed at night, the pilot light always goes out and the room fills with gas. But, but that's terrible. That's exactly the same situation as what led to the previous occupant's death. And then there's what happened to Mr. Shakespeare last night when he was mysteriously poisoned. There's clearly more to that incident than can be explained by a curse, though. Whatever can be the cause of all these strange happenings in Mr. Gandib's rooms? Is that it? Are we Gucci? Do I present the soap again now that we talk about it? I don't know, the guy is telling me to present the soap, so I'm just kind of like, okay. Mr. Natsume, what do you know about this? Okay, it's, it's the same one. Yep, alright. Same dialogue. That's fine. Although, I noticed that this guide that I'm using, uh, they are putting in a little optional sections. So this is probably just a funny optional section. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know when we saw Shamspear and, uh, Green inside the hospital? Mm -hmm. And we were like, and we were laughing because Sasato said it was an ominous scene. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is an entirely optional scene. Like, you can just miss that uh, scene. You can okay. miss that scene entirely. Like, the story will just continue without you having seen that, so. I definitely missed it a couple times on my first playthrough, because I didn't know you could just go back. Alright, well, uh, let's talk to Mr. Garretov. Twenty-second February, Mr. and Mrs. Garretov's room. Uh, you're here now, Mr. Garretov. Right bully business it is for me, you know, getting out and about. Were you at the Old Bailey, by any chance? Naturally. Fate of my lodgings hanging in the balance and all that. No trial to miss. The fate of what's already been dubbed your haunted lodgings, yes. Of course, the place has caused quite a stir around the capital on more than one occasion already. As the old haunted lodgings or some such. Uh, well, at least he knows. Makes you wonder what the blazes is going on, don't you know? Oh, hi, Sholmes, I guess you're just here. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure it does. In fact, thinking back to Mr. Natsume's other child just two days ago... You were at the old bandy then as well, weren't you? Testifying with your wife about what happened. Stopped off at the prison on the way home, in fact. Beastly business. I see. Oh, you don't have to get up. Yeah, I'm like, you, you can stay seated. So, what brings you to my haunted abode today, eh? <laughs> Garrett's just done. He's just done. Yeah. <laughs> Life sucks. Can I... I hope he's not, like, actually responsible for anything bad. He, he seems like he's just in, like, the wrong place at the wrong time all the time. <laughs> On the positive side, I don't have scalding tea poured into my lap now. <laughs> that or is now. true. <laughs> Mr. Garretov, could I show you this? 
It's been quite a couple of days, as you can imagine. I'm afraid I'm rather tired. I haven't really got the energy in the old eyeballs, to be honest with you. Some other time, then. Yes, in the year 2099, when I'm dead. <laughs> wow, you're gonna live for a long time! Well, we had to do that Marvel versus... I mean, Marvel did, versus... Hold Captain on! Did that say... Crossover. Hold on, did that say your lodgings twice? I can't go back <sighs> now, obviously, but, like, that that looked like it we'll, said your we'll, lodgings twice. We'll find out. Some fishy fellow from the Far East and a failed actor chap of questionable character, eh? Yes, the house does seem to have become something of a magnet for rum fellows as of late. I think it was your lodgings and your lodgers. Oh! Thanks for that, Thanks for that bully curse. The convict's cursed, you mean? Ah, heard, sto heard the stories, have you? Rotten scoundrel was arrested here, and the next chap in the room goes and keels over. Then there was that woman who dropped dead just outside the, on the street, not to mention the actor yesterday. Am I the next day? Well, can't help but get the collie wobbles, can you? When you say the woman who dropped dead outside on the street, do you mean Miss Green? Because Miss Green, who was stabbed by the knife, and Mr. Shamspear, who was poisoned last night, are both very much alive still. Maybe the third person's also alive somewhere. <laughs> yes, well, so was that Blastic Convict's curse, it seems. Personally, I should be quite content with such lodgings. A bath, a toilet, a fireplace, a fascinating history. Why, it sounds like the lap of luxury! Jones. You uh, live in a high estate apartment, shut up. I'm not so sure about that. Well, there's no bath or toilet included, and no fireplace either. But... You do look out for your tenants, don't you? By watching the rise and fall of flames in your gas lamps up here. Yes, never hurts to keep an eye on things. In case there are any mishaps or such like. Oh, excuse me. Jones. Anyway, I think you've had your mishap already, sir. <laughs> Jones. Uh, That's not helpful, Mr. Sholmes. Heaven forgive me. The words just came to my lips. Oh my god. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It is your lodgers. Okay. Okay. They were so similar. I was just like, huh? Is this yeah, like, a like joke? they looked similar, but the spacing was a little off. So I'm sitting here like, no, it can't have been your lodgings twice. <laughs> I just didn't remember. All right. Well, we'll talk about the lodgers in the next video because we're out of time. So I'll see you all then.